We're here at Semi Permanent again. I'm with Matt Aitken, who's the visual effects supervisor from Weta Workshop, or is it Weta Digital, right? Weta Digital. Weta Digital. Yeah. Well, let's not get those confused. What's the difference, Matt? Well, we, we work very closely together, but we're sort of two halves of the overall organisation. Weta Workshop does mainly physical effects. Um, they do sets and miniature sets and, and props and costumes and, and a lot of design work. And at Weta Digital, we do feature film visual effects, digital visual effects, and, and now feature animation as well. Yeah. Everyone is always constantly amazed, or at least I say everyone, I'm always constantly amazed at the uh, ability that you have had of bringing talent down to New Zealand, of maintaining the quality and the connection to Hollywood. Uh, it's an unusual kind of setup that you could drag that many people down under. Are there any tricks? How do you do it? Well, yeah, it is a bit of an anachronism that Weta Digital is, is here in Wellington in New Zealand when um, the other companies that are kind of doing what we're doing at the scale that we're doing it are pretty much either in California or London. Um, but we have, you know, with Peter Jackson, um, uh, he's just decided to stay in Wellington, and so we're there because he's there. That's that's the, the reason for it, um, and what better reason could there be? Um, and through Peter as well, we've had these great projects that, like Lord of the Rings, I mean, people came down to Wellington to work on Lord of the Rings. They said they would have gone to, to anywhere in the world to work on that project. So that was incredibly useful for us to get us started. And, um, you know, people have come down, some people have come down, worked for a while and gone home again, but a bunch of people have come you know, from all over the world, not just from the States, from um, all over the world, they come into, into Wellington and they really love the, the lifestyle, they love the fact that it's not a big city, they love the fact that, you know, you can be five minutes from work and, and have a house on the coast, and so, um, you know, it's that combination of having really good projects and um, offering a good lifestyle. I remember um, interviewing, um, it might have been Peter, um, or it might have been Richard anyway, one of them, uh, and saying that they didn't necessarily want people who were artists, they wanted people who were uh, 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 just really technically competent. Well, we would say the opposite at Weta Digital. Um, we, we, we call all the people who work at Weta Digital artists. That's um, a very conscious decision. We, we think that the technology provides a really solid foundation for the work that we do, and we, we do have some great technology, that's, that's for sure. But um, we think that it's the artistry that enables the work that we do to really communicate with the audience. The technology is never going to make that connection. And uh, so um, that's one of the things I'm going to be showing in my, my talk this afternoon is, is some concrete examples of the way that um, that artistry has, has come in and, and using the technology as a kind of a canvas, um, that's where we're really getting to, to make that connection. Do you find that there is sufficient talent in New Zealand? Do you need to recruit offshore to, to bring that talent down here? We like to think that um, we have everybody in the country who's at all um, you know, relevant working at Weta Digital, um, but unfortunately there's not, um, even with some great schools providing talent here, there's, there's not yet enough people to um, completely, we're, we're 850 people at Weta Digital right now, so um, yeah, so we need to, we, we have always needed to go and recruit offshore to, to top up the, the, the people that we need, but we're really consciously trying to get um, as many Kiwis into the company as we can, and we're, we're working with tertiary training institutions to, to make sure that, that programs are, are well geared, and um, you know, that's, that's something that we're doing consciously. Awesome. So yeah. do you develop any IP, uh, you know, you'd, um, I know for instance out of Lord of the Rings, we had, I think it was the Monster um, software, was it uh, Monster? Oh, massive, Massive, massive yeah. came out of, uh, do, do you develop intellectual property like that kind of thing? We do a lot of software development and um, so that, yeah, that would be our core IP. Um, to date we haven't got to the point where we've um, taken any of that to market ourselves. Massive was um, an arrangement with the developer, Steve Regulus, he, he was able to, to take a copy of that code and go off by himself and that's what we see with Massive software now. Um, we are talking about taking some of our software to market, you know, maybe partnering up with somebody to do that because we've got great programmers producing really, really um, fantastic tools yeah. that, um, and we're just weighing up, you know, the benefit of that going to market with um, the benefit of, of keeping that technology to ourselves and getting some, some edge from that. Yeah. So that's the decision we have to make there, yeah. You're now becoming kind of like the big boys in town. You're actually a very tall person in your own right. Um, are you getting expectations now that you are going to contribute back to, I'm sure you pay your taxes, but you know, are you, are you being a good corporate citizen? Are you um, doing stuff to help the industry grow? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that that relationship um, that we have with the tertiary institutions and, and keeping, you know, um, training programs, we, that sort of outreach is, is, is really instrumental to what we do. Um, 
there's um, a bunch of stuff we do at the community level in Wellington as well, which we, we, th we take very seriously, yeah. And you employ 850 awesome kids. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, you know, we, we are one of the significant employers in Wellington now, you know, which, is, which is good. And I think, um, you know, we, we use a bit, a bit of power, for sure, but um, apart from that, it's pretty green what we do. It's, uh, it's um, low carbon footprint, it's, it's very high, um, high value, and, uh, you know, we export a lot of, um, you know, a lot of good products. So um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good sort of an industry to be in in that respect, yeah. It's so, uh, part of the weightless economy that we're all hoping to um, see in the next decade. Thanks, Matt, for talking to us, and thanks for becoming uh, for being part of Semi Permanent. You're welcome.